What up, everybody? Welcome back to another Car Chronicles review with the Lesser Stealthy Ninja Street Team. Ow! It is your boy, Cosmic Boss, and to my right, or your left, Irania Mist. Mist. And so, today's episode is about the movie X. X. Yes. Uh, brand new horror movie uh, by T.I. West. Same guy who wrote and directed the first VHS film. A24 Studio, right? Uh, by A24 Studio. So if you watch their movies, uh, you know what kind of fucked up shit you're in for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this will be a mildly spoilerish yes. review. Mildly. Yeah. Not fully, just mildly. Just a couple things because we got some thoughts. Yeah. So um, I'm going to say this. And I believe I'm speaking for the both of us. I saw this trailer months ago. The months ago for this movie completely forgot about it yeah completely forgot about mm -hmm. it till this one brought it up to me and sent the trailer to me and i was like oh yeah that exists and, and so, i'm like we're gonna watch it so like i like it's the premise is just like you look at the trailer and i and i thought this is gonna be one of the worst horror movies in years i didn't think that i, I that's what i thought and so but uh watching this movie starring britney snow uh mia goth uh, Scott Muscuti, a.k.a. Kid Cuddy. Um, who else? Oh, they're they the main people. <laughs> um, uh, Jenna Ortega from mm -hmm. the new Scream movie. Yeah. I forgot her. So, uh, everybody else is... And you. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is just... Like, I, I don't... I remember, like, the, the older guy, the cowboy hat man. I think his name was Wade in the oh, movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him in something else, but if it, 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 it eludes me right now. He so. kind of plays similar roles. Yes. Yeah. So, um, everybody else was newish. Mm -hmm. So, I like this movie. <laughs> Here's the premise, just to keep it real simple. Yeah. It's about a group of people from Houston, Texas, <laughs> um, <laughs> who leave their burlesque show in Pasadena. We're from Houston. We know the surrounding area so when we see it. So don't act funny. Don't act you, funny. You know that's if you is. watch this movie and you're from Houston and you see it when they pull it off, oh, you're like, oh, yeah, that's past. Yeah, yeah. You know it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so they're leaving. They're going to go shoot a porno. The movie takes place in 1979. Their whole thing is they're going to shoot a porno. That's like a movie. That's like a movie. Cinema, Not just as they keep. A porn. It has a script and everything. Right. And, and lines. <laughs> lines. And a story. They have a boom mic, a big old cap. <laughs> Their whole thing is this movie is going to take them out of working blue collar jobs, out of the hard hats, right. as one character mm -hmm. put it. Because they don't want to work hard hat life all their life. This is going to make them rich and famous. From home videos. Because home video is about to boom. So people can watch porn in, in the, the privacy of yep. their home. Yep. And not be ashamed, yeah, as they like, as they put it. So, and it's like, okay. And then, and, and like, they mentioned, like, you know, this is going to be like, if we, if we can even do half as good as Debbie Does Dallas, we'll be in the red for life. And it's like... I, I know that name. Yeah. <laughs> so, a little bit before we were born. A little of bit. Us, I'm little the bit. old one, and it was still before I was born. So. Yeah, so, and you know, it's just, that's the premise. They yeah. they end up, they're going to shoot a movie called The Farmer's Daughters. They've booked a, home, a ranch, or not a ranch, a farm. That actually looked a lot like the new Evil Dead cabin. It was set up the same where Mia, they kept her there. You remember when Mia was in the room and they had her isolated on Evil Dead? Yes. So here's the, here's what the farm looked like. It was run by an older couple, man and woman. No kids, nothing. No dogs, nothing. But no animals that we could see. Cows. Were the cows theirs? Yeah. They were in the barn, remember? That's right. They did have cows in the barn. Yeah. Um, I don't know who took care of them motherfuckers. So they were old as... And, uh, mm. Feeble. But anyway, <laughs> if to give you an idea what the farm looked like, the farmhouse looked like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, exactly. the original yeah. reboot. Exactly. Looked like an, it looked like an exact replica. It yeah. looked like the exact hallway from the opening shot. Like the just cellar. oh, okay. it it looked exactly mm -hmm. like Texas Chainsaw, where the people were staying. The characters, the main characters, looked like the Evil Dead house from the reboot. Yep. And it was just like a lot of this shit just looks familiar. It gives you that you're right. It gives you that familiarity. You're like, wait. Yes. This feels. This feels, I'm scared. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. Because we talking about two gruesome horror films. <laughs> two very gruesome horror films. For so. sure. Um, anyway, but <laughs> that's the premise. And the whole theme is like this. They just, they want the life they believe they deserve. Right. So this movie is going to take all of them out of the out of their situation. Porn. You know, it was the 70s. So. Drugs. <laughs> which was very prevalent in this oh movie. Oh my God. Uh, what the For one say? person. Wait, what the caution say on TV now? So there's smoking, <laughs> there's drug use, there's lots of sex, and there's nudity. Yes. Both male and female. Very much so. And <laughs> here's the thing. This is a horror movie. I don't know if it was meant to be funny. I don't think it was. But we were laughing. We were oh laughing. And I mean <laughs> loud. <laughs> Belly laugh. In this theater. And other people were laughing too because yeah. it was not just us. Yeah. But there were scenes happening in this film. We c- <laughs> You were like, what the fuck just happened? What? Wait. How, Sway? Okay, fine. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's how you get there. Okay, fine. <laughs> to put, like we said, mild spoilers, so here comes some. One of the biggest laughs we had <laughs> was when the old people started fucking. You guys. You guys. Okay. The husband was so hesitant because the wife was just like, tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me I'm special. And she took off her nightgown and you just see leather. <laughs> They look like the Oracle old. You know what I mean? These are not just normal old. Like, oh, it gives you the visit. Yes. You know, the visit the, vibe. If you remember the movie, The Visit, <laughs> remember those that old couple? <laughs> Aged them about 20 extra years. <laughs> like, like, I mean, take that old couple, give them 20 more years of being in the Texas sun. Yeah. And then you got the couple from I'm this movie. I'm surprised nobody was in diapers. The, the, hey, kudos, guys. But anyway, <laughs> with Dave, cause he, cause the husband, like she wanted to, like she wanted to be wanted because that was the wife's thing. She when they, she started speaking when she first met the character she liked, she was like, I when I was your age, blah blah blah. To to summarize, I was beautiful and I didn't get to live the life I deserved. Blah blah blah. I used what I had, and you're doing the same thing. Yeah. Husband's like, I don't know, like I don't think my heart can take it. But he gave it his best. And she was hooting, hollering, and screaming. And we were all disgusted. We were everybody. <laughs> like, we could hear people to the left, right, and in front of us. Like, ugh. Going like, ooh. <laughs> no. Oh. Like, my it, eyes. It was a woman to my left going like, oh, no. <laughs> and we were just like, what's <laughs> It, but you could tell it was shot to purposely make you uncomfortable. Yes. The whole movie was shot to make you uncomfortable. Everything. And here's the thing. like, And this being a horror movie, some of you, or a lot of horror fans, yeah. you're only here for the kills. I'm going to say this. The kills weren't super inventive. No. But they were very realistic. They were very. And, and very bloody. Yes. Very gory. Yes. So, so if you're not into gore, this is not for you. Mm-mm. Like, you know, just to go over, uh, like... There were some times we thought one character was just going... She survived two instances. Man. In any other horror movie... She'd have been gone. She'd have been gone. <laughs> she'd have been gone. Like the first one when she went swimming in a mysterious pond. Bitch, this is Texas. Right. You don't swim you in strange water. Exactly. And then it had a... a what was that on the top of it? Was that a, a pond? It was, like, it was like a slimy film. Like if you, you've been to a pond and you know that green stuff that just sticks to shit. And she just put her foot in it like oh, she put her mine. foot in it and just dipped her foot in there and was just she was like she was like I this can, feels nice and I could throw my whole body in here got butt naked just started swimming was out there for a good while and you know what just it just dawned on me <clears throat> the level of disrespect that was punishable in this film was equal to a Jason Voorhees film <laughs> the sex. The this bitch went skinny dipping in somebody else's pond on somebody else's property. Bitch, Ooh. this is not where you live. These aren't your grandparents. And see, and that was the thing. These people rented this farm. Didn't tell the old people what they were doing. No, that they was gonna be fucking in there. No, that they were shooting a porn and fucking and doing all this. Didn't tell them nothing. And so, like, like when she was floating in that pond, I made the the joke. 
comment yeah. when she was just floating. I was like, Gator boots. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, it pans over to the far side, and, and a gator like, is just waking up. Like, ooh, is that Jose, is dinner? <laughs> and next thing you know, she just starts. She casually, she doesn't know it's there. No, never notices that she doesn't there. pay attention to her surroundings at all. At all, the whole doesn't movie. hear this thing. Nope. She starts just swimming slowly, just towards the dock. And when I mean she's a good bit from it. If I remember the, she's about a good fifty to sixty feet from it. Yeah, and the way they shot it was fade, like down, like so like you can see her isometric, and you can see the, like the, you can see the, uh, you gator. you can see the whole pond, yeah. the dock where she is, and then when she starts swimming, here comes the gator from the right side of the screen. Right, so you can reference the distance. So you how can he's see. closing the distance? Is she really not? And, right, oh, and oh. we oh. were saying that it's like mm-hmm. right, like oh, this bitch gonna get tore by a gator. And then it changes perspective the closer she got to the dock to where it was the camera was on the dock looking at her. And you can see the gator right behind right, her. Right. Still swimming. She climbs on the dock, sits and for a bit. she takes a break. She takes a break. She's like, oh, I'm tired. I'm like, that's where she got got. Right. Next thing you know, she pulls her feet out the water. If I, I was gator, in I disbelief. Oh, I know he was mad because he stayed there the rest of the damn movie. He did. He, he stayed like, in that one spot. One more motherfucker come the out here. The next motherfucker mine. that come out here is mine. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and then, I mean, it makes sense. You know, that gator was hungry. But like, and then, like, when I mean she survived two instances, the second came right after. The old bitch waved at her from her house, and she walked to the house, walked inside with no invitation. Got snuck up on, offered mysterious lemonade, and drank, drank it. it like she had not had a drink in years. When I mean she took one sip, she then downed it all like a shot, and the glass was just, and then just stayed talking with her. And just, she survived. The level of trust <laughs> of this group of young people is amazing to me because I don't trust nobody. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't give a fuck. I you can ask any ninja. They'd be like, well, this person is, insert any type of anything, and I'm going to say, I don't give a fuck, okay? This is a prime example film of why I don't trust anybody, because these two old fucks are both crazy as shit. They're, they look weak and feeble, but they can get their point across. They, they play on your trust of, oh, I want to help this old person, and then they fuck you up. Fuck that. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and here's the thing. <laughs> There was some foul shit going on in this movie. <laughs> there was a, there, was, like, and and when they did that whole speech, like, because they did, they really did shoot porno scenes. You don't see anything below the belt. You do see titties. Well, eventually you see below the belt. You see a silhouette of below the belt. No, in the cellar. The cellar boy. Oh. Okay, so you do see below the belt, and I don't you know. See some if, dick. There you go. There you go. But other than that, he's dead already, so... <laughs> he thinks it doesn't count, but it does. Yay. Look, hey, I thought I thought it was old buddy from the from the, the first of the group that got killed. Yeah. Turns out this was a whole different whole person. Whole other person. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, it's... Oh, man. The, and I will say this. The only death I felt wasn't deserved that I think should have been the final girl, Brittany Snow's character. Wait, that's the girl from Pitch Perfect? Yes, yeah. the blonde one. Yeah. She, I liked her character the most. Yeah. So, <laughs> I loved her character. But they was doing some fucking fucking shit. She, <laughs> she was acting, boy. She <laughs> she was acting. Or she was inception acting. Hmm. When she got done shooting that scene and Kid Cudi's character was over there standing butt naked in the window flexing like he... She's like, she was over there in the bed smoking a cigarette, like, calm your shit, boy. That was acting. Right. He turned around, and girl, I know acting when I see it, and that wasn't that. And then she proceeded to, when Harry met Sally off in the bed, and then he was stuck on stupid looking at her, like, he's like, don't worry, baby, you did fine. Brittany Snow, this is a, a different side of her if you love Pitch Perfect. Right. Like, I was like, oh, I see her titties. Okay. Right. So her thing, whole titties out. Right. I was like, this introduces me to something different. But you know what? Jenna Ortega, I don't know how old she is, but she's never in a for real sex scene. 
Like, mm-hmm. it'll always be something implied, and I appreciate that. Because I don't know how old she is. I don't know if she's a teenager or if she's, like, a young, young adult. She but, may be, like, 20. Right. But she always does it tastefully. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate that. Not that I, I mean, you know, I don't care about nudity. It doesn't bother me. But I did know that. I was wondering. I was like, you know, is she going to have, like, a the same kind of scene as Mia or... Right. Um, because Britney, Britney Snow. Britney Snow. Because okay. we know Britney Snow from Pitch Perfect. Uh, me before that, I think it was The Pacifier. You know, she's been in a whole bunch of like Disney type mm-hmm. family films. Uh, Mia Goff, <laughs> we know her mainly from the, the Cure to Wellness. Yeah. So that was another fucked up horror movie. Very. Um, <laughs> watch she's that. She's a good actress. She's a very good yes. actress. And she has a very unique look, and I like yes. that. Yes. Yes. Um, but and, and and here's another spoiler. She plays herself. She plays the young chick. Like I forget her name in this movie, yeah. but she plays one of the young people making the porn, and then she plays the old woman also. Yes, Pearl. Which we did not know until the credits. I was looking because a- after every film, just so y'all know, into my head, I always go look at the cast, and I'm like, hmm, okay, where did I see this person before? And da da da. So I'm scrolling, and I'm like, I don't see the old lady, and I'm like, wait. I don't understand. And so then I click on MDV, IMDB, and it's like she was whatever her name is, and Pearl. And I was like, oh. Right. And here's the thing, because that makeup did not look like her. No. Did not. Like. It was, it was she had like 17 strands of hair. Mm. You know, and it was She like, She spent at least a good eight hours in that makeup oh, chair yeah. before they, they did put her work. out there. Uh, they did very good work. I have to look at the old man. I don't know who he is, I don't think. Like, I don't know if that was an actual old man or if that was somebody else's right, makeup. Right, right. But anyway, they like, they killed it. Like, they this did. whole movie was like, oh, man. Like, it was like, I think there was one line by the cowboy dude. He was like, look, when he was talking to the other guy, <laughs> his girl was like, I want to be in the movie. He was like, look, <laughs> like, I, you're 23, I'm 42. You've never been 42, but I have been 23. Mm-hmm. If she, if she is going to do what she is going to want to do, and there's nothing you can say or stop her. You you try to stop her, you'll only make her do it <laughs> exponentially like whole, to a higher that level. That was my whole life right there in that one <laughs> right? thing. Nobody makes me do shit. I right? do what I want to do. Like, And he was just like, look, man. <laughs> and he wasn't that bad of a dude either. No. He wasn't that bad. He was just trying, like, he, as the executive producer, he wasn't shooting any scenes. And at 42, he been there, done that, and he's just trying to make him some money so he don't have to have a hard head job. Exactly. That's what he said. He was just, he wasn't slimy to anybody. Right. He didn't beat no woman. He no. didn't he curse anybody else. Or the younger girl, but that, who that's, cares? That's, that's, that, yeah, that's what they said. Like, he ran the burlesque show mm-hmm. or the strip club, and he left his wife to be with the Mia Goss character, and it's like... That happens. Right. I mean, you she's know, hot. She, she has a, a good personality. She's kind of weird, but who cares? Exactly. We didn't see the wife. She no. wasn't in the movie. No. But, you know, um, other than that, I, he didn't do a bad thing. Like, normal horror movie rules, the horrible people get offed. Even the good people, too. But, yeah. like, and man. And you know what? In the beginning, I don't think I felt like I knew who the killer was was without us giving you that. I didn't I didn't know the killer was who it was. I was like Here's the thing. This movie started off in a Quentin Tarantino way. Uh-huh. It showed you the aftermath yeah. first. Yeah. Now when I mean it showed you the aftermath, it showed the house the morning after uh-huh. and the bodies covered in sheets. We didn't know who was what. No. We didn't know who was dead, who was alive. Didn't know. We know where the bodies were and so where the cops found them. Mm-hmm. So that was in my head. When does the shit happen? Because it as soon as they were stopped, it said twenty four hours earlier. It was like, oh, this shit happens quick. Right. And so... <laughs> Everything starts to fall into place extremely fast. Exactly. Because when, when the cops were doing the walkthrough, it was like there was a body in the driveway. There was a body inside the house just to the right of the front door. And there then was there something was something in the cellar. And there was something in the cellar that made them go, oh, my God. But we didn't know what it was. They didn't they show it. They never showed it. They never showed it. And so through the whole movie, I'm sitting there looking like, okay, when is this... When is this... Who's going to die right now? Right. Because then you, at first you think... You know, oh, well, it's in the cellar. Oh, okay. But it's like, wait, that's not who's in the cellar. Okay. Right. Because they lock Jenna Ortega's character Mm -hmm. in the cellar. And we thought that's where she was going to die. Right. You're like, oh, well, she's going to be dead down there. And then she turned on the lights after getting locked in there. 
and found a body. And it's like, oh, okay, maybe that's the oh my God thing. Turns out that was the yep. oh my God thing. <laughs> and so eventually the bodies start falling into place. One person gets caught by the alligator. Uh, Don't kill all the deaths. Oh, yeah. And so it's just like, <laughs> it's, it's. Go see it. Go see it. It was. I, like I said, I was not expecting it to be good, but it was very good. Yeah, and what did you say the dude, he did VHS? Yes, the writer and director did the first VHS film. And if you watch VHS, like me and Zerk and this one, we love that first VHS. It love was it. Good. Love it. And like he did some other movies like uh, The Innkeepers, the, the House in Hell or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so... Go see this movie. It's yeah. pretty damn good. Yeah, it's uh, it was impressive. I mean, I was excited for it anyway because I was like shooting a porn and this looks like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say no more. I didn't even know that was Kid Cudi till what halfway through the movie. Until halfway through the movie, I was like, who's that? Because <laughs> they the way they dressed up Cudi in this film. <laughs> They do. aged him about twenty years, yes. and I mean with no makeup, just a hairstyle and a mustache. That boy look completely different. But you know, when I first saw the preview, I didn't realize that was Britney Snow either. Right. Like, I stared at her like, I know her face. Why do I know her face? And I was like, that's Pitch Perfect Girl. Like, <laughs> so they did a good job on the makeup and, you know, the hairstyles and everything for 1979, the outfits. And like I said, that violence, y'all know I'm a sucker for some violence. And it was gory and bloody. Yes. And he, in the amount of foreshadowing in this movie that I just realized. Mm -hmm. Remember when they were leaving the strip club? Mm -hmm. What with the mural was? Trouble hearing you. Sh shut up, Siri. What was on the mural, what the mural was of of no strip club? No, I don't. Bayou Burlesque? It sure was, because I said Bayou in my head, and I was like, Bayou. Remember, it had an alligator pulling? It did. It <laughs> so, did. like, <laughs> so go see this movie. It's yeah. very well shot, very well acted, yeah. very well written. Pretty damn good. Yeah. Pretty damn good. There's a lot of Easter eggs in there. I'm pretty sure that there'll be a video out soon about right. some Easter eggs because there's a lot. And stay till the end. Yes. End. Stay after the credits because there's something else. Now, I don't know if this is another movie that's coming or if this was something like Grind, Quentin, Quentin Tarantino's Grindhouse with all those fake trailers. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. We don't. But, but watch, watch stay to the anyway. end after yeah. the credits. Watch it. Yes. And so, yeah, but uh, from the list of stuff the ninjas, we will be back with more Car Chronicles review. Mm -hmm. We are going to be doing uh, April. We got coming up. We got, we um, got before that. What's next weekend? Uh, next weekend is uh, Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock and Jason Tatum. Jason. Channing Tatum. I was like, who the fuck is Jason Tatum? <laughs> Jason Tatum. I think he's a basketball player. <laughs> Sandra Bullock and, and Channing, Channing Tatum. Tatum. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the movie, but Harry Potter, a.k.a. Daniel Radcliffe, is the bad guy. It looks like yeah. adventure movie. We love adventure movies. Yes. So we will be seeing that. In April, we will have Fantastic Beasts. We will have Sonic 2. We will have some other movies. Um, we will get a content Morbius. creator. Oh, Morbius. We will get a content creator a thing going for... Uh, Doctor Strange? Doctor Strange. There we go. So, yeah, be on the lookout for those. Yes. Uh, please give them a like and a follow if you enjoyed yourself. And uh, we will see you soon. Y'all be safe. Everybody have a great week. Peace, everybody. Bye-bye.